Gone are the canteen crowds, the noisy chatter, the food fights. This is what a socially distant school lunch looks like with just eight students. Normally, there would be more than a thousand. Haggerston School in East London has stayed open for children of key workers and the vulnerable throughout lockdown. There are big challenges for staff. 59% of pupils here come from a disadvantaged background. And of course, it's odd for the children too. Well, it's, it's been kind of, weird. It's kind of like being, being in like an abandoned school, which is kind of nice, kind of weird. These twins are being very careful about the rules themselves and are frustrated at grown-ups who are less so. All the adults have been in the park and not really staying apart where all the kids are, mm. but that's not really going to help anyone. Um, I'm a tiny bit worried about my mum because she's a nurse and I don't have to work anymore, but she's still saving people's lives as well, so yeah. You must be really proud of her. Yeah, I am. The way that we are doing our work, it really helps me because at home I can't do it because I'll get easily distracted. Or sometimes the teachers have to remind us to keep two metres away. Sometimes I think about why are they telling us, but it's for my health and safety. Lessons now take place largely online and most students will work on them at home. The school has tried to provide laptops and internet dongles or even printed worksheets for those who really need them. So let's start with simple future tense. So I can see straight away, visitaré España. But some children still find it difficult and their progress is slipping. Your mum said that you were finding it a bit of a struggle. She was just saying that, um, that you, yeah, you weren't kind of getting on with the work and I just wondered how that was going. We have parents that we speak to who are desperate to get their children back in school and who are really keen to know when they can start to think about that. Um, and then we have parents who are really anxious about it. Everyone's got very personal views and feelings about it and their own circumstances and the, the particular vulnerabilities of their families um, make it very difficult for us to have one blanket approach to everybody. It's a tricky balancing act for you. It is, it is, yeah. You know, it is tricky and the only way, I think, to manage it is to go slow. Like many schools in England, they're now trying to work out how to reopen more widely while keeping children safe. A cleaning team is in place and communal areas will be wiped down hourly. And they're rethinking all the spaces. We've sometimes had, you know, up to 300 children um, sitting and listening and watching performances. So it's usually a very busy and bustling space, but... Obviously, in the current circumstances, it's, it's kind of untenable to think about that for the time being. And imagining up to 300 children here now just yes. feels impossible, doesn't <laughs> yes, it? Yes, absolutely. It seems just crazy, really. Such is pandemic life. The once normal seems crazy. A corridor full of children can only be imagined. For now, schools try to adapt and perhaps welcome back only small groups of students.